Okay, today's um, Saturday, uh, what is it, 31st. I'm um, doing a little vlog. <clears throat> Keep calling one and call it a vlog, but probably tells me, oh, you're sitting in a room. So, anyways, uh, it's still morning. I just got up maybe an hour ago. I tired yesterday. Um, <clears throat> yesterday's, uh, I got the uh, generator out. I got the uh, ice containers out. <clears throat> wash those. I got the generator oil started. Uh, I changed that oil for the generator and replaced it. I bought that generator back in 2005 when I first moved out here, which I did not know nothing about hurricanes or how to do, how to prepare, I guess. All I know is everybody was out of power. So uh, obviously I want to make sure that, that we're okay. And um, it was uh, a night opener when we first got moved out here. And we've been really fortunate that we've had hurricanes and tropical storms, but I think this might be, looks like maybe the strongest uh, since we've been here or since Charlie, I mean, we we came after those uh, three storms, four storms in, in 04. Although we were here in between Charlie and the next one, uh, it was a disaster, literally. That's a different story. I get, I get some, someday I gotta share that with you. But anyways, um, uh, I think I got the front part of the house, everything out of the garage, got everything out of there that I need to, got my truck back in there, <clears throat> generator fired right up. Another time it's been used by a friend last year, he was still out of power after a week and he, I think he called me up or I called him to find out how he's doing it. He's still out of power and we were still good, so I told him to come pick up my generator and he'd use it, so that's the only time it's been used. So I changed out the oil because it's been... How many years? 14 years, and it's only been used once, so it changed out the oil. And it fired right up. So I got that <clears throat> in a position over here in the back, which I still gotta do the backyard work. Gotta bring all my patio stuff right underneath my, uh, uh, the, the back part of the house, protect it, secure everything down. And I take the doors off my, uh, my screen and uh, put out some uh, drainage from inside the patio. I got a little drainage going into the backyard because I got a sink. Uh, before I put all the patio stuff down here, we had the, the patio redone. <clears throat> created a conduit system, uh, you know, pretty much like uh, the power utilities do. They create a, an underground conduit system so we can run wires and stuff under there. But I did that before because I knew I anticipated what I'd want water system back here and power and cable and everything. So. <clears throat> but I did get um, but that uh, my my water flow will only take so much. I mean, it's just for washing stuff out here and and uh, whatnot. But a lot of water will just flood the stuff. So uh, what I do is I get a uh, I don't know, a big like four inch hose and connect it to my uh, my uh, water. Uh, damn, I lost my train of thought. <clears throat> where the water comes down and just funnel it out the patio. That way we don't get a lot of water in the patio. <coughs> I had moved my trees into the <clears throat> into the shed, but then I'll take them out of there because the storm's not supposed to hit for another three days and uh, without the light, the water, I uh, could die in there. So I think I'm going to put them behind, behind my shed and there's a wall back there. That, that should give them enough protection from the wind. Hopefully they won't break. But I need help with that. I got three of them to move. Um, that's pretty much it. Uh, what I want to do is go around, take pictures of the interior of the house and the exterior of the house, and and uh, get ready in case we do lose things, uh, house damage, or whatever. We got some kind of uh, reference we can make a claim. So that's where we're at. Anyways, I do appreciate the ones who've been making contact with us, family and friends. Uh, Seeing that we're doing okay, so. Dog. I tell you, he's still around, kicking around. He barely moves. He barely moves around, but he's always eat something. And he's got to yak it out. <laughs> All right, that's it for now.